thank you, Madam Mayor, and thank you to all of the people who have brought us to this point. Extinction Rebellion, thank you for your non-violent action. I'm proud to say I've campaigned with you. You strikers, you have staked your claim, your claim as custodians. We adults are borrowing the world from you, not inheriting it from our parents. Glyn, the Greens and the non-partisan 10,000 plus, you have brought about this debate. Thanks to you, we now have action. I'm delighted to be one of your signatories. And thank you all for coming today. This is the first time I have seen true democracy in this place. This is your town hall, this is your democracy. So, so how this has worked is that a petition with over 10,000 signatures forces the debate. But we Labour councillors did not want to stop at a debate. We have put forward our motion declaring a climate emergency which has been agreed at committee by all sides to hold the council to significant carbon reducing target to become carbon neutral by 2030, zero carbon by 2050 to decarbonise our pension fund and oppose Heathrow expansion. And as this crisis extends beyond party politics, the Tories have written a strategy and also been agreed on at committee. So everyone, I sincerely mean it. Well done us all. <laughs> Yet it's not enough. This declaration in itself does not lower carbon. This declaration has to be the trigger to produce an active response. And this is where the detail really matters, in the Autumn Action Plan, where we as policy makers have to be brave in applying creativity with economic endeavour, to create systems that use less in the first place and design out toxic side effects, to deliver environmental action as a matter of justice, clean air when some of our most vulnerable residents live along our most polluted roads, making council properties energy efficient, benefiting residents facing fuel poverty, managing our waste to introduce food waste collection so all residents are able to reduce, reuse and have equal access to recycling. Here in Wandsworth it's not enough to ensure our borders are carbon free. What matters is that we reduce our carbon footprint throughout the life cycle of each policy and each contract. It's no good celebrating electric vehicle use in Wandsworth if they're run on fossil fuel elsewhere. It's no good encouraging recycling here if our waste washes up on shores elsewhere. think that 60 councillors alone are equipped to take on this challenge. Only through collective action can this climate crisis be stopped. The strategy promises consultation, yet where are Wandsworth's recognised expert groups, the Environment Forum, Living Streets, the Plastic Free Groups? I have been talking to local people, mums who want car-free school drop-off zones, gym users, suggesting we introduce water fountains and stop selling bottled water. So many practical ideas, the Friends of the Earth asking us to tell the truth, to publish baseline data. How much money are we investing in fossil fuel right now? How many trees are we cutting down as well as planting this year? Residents, get involved, lobby us. Madam Mayor, we have just been told we can't live stream committees and council meetings. How is that environmental? Everyone has to turn up in person and don't get me started on accessibility. We've just been told that deputations have been cut, reducing valuable resident participation. 
I'm saying in the spirit of working together, Wandsworth, please open up, make this a truly democratic process, include the residents, and let's take this crisis out of policy and into action together. Yeah.